we're here in a beautiful home in Clark County, Kentucky. This home is almost 200 years old. I'm here with Greg Decker from Rooftop Apiaries. This is Kurt White from the Bluegrass Apiary. And we're getting ready to perform a cutout. We've seen that the bees are going in on the outside wall. We've used a stethoscope to establish that they're... <laughs> and pulled some trim off. That's another good confirmation that that's where the bees are. But this is going to be interesting because we're coming from the top down. Usually we... When we cut bees out from a home, we work from the bottom up. That way we can vacuum the bees. These bees have likely built their honeycomb on the floor that we're going to have to remove. So it could be interesting, but um, we'll, we'll let you know how everything turns out today. Greg's using his fiber optic camera now that we've exposed a, a place to get the camera. You can see there we're, we're greeted with a bunch of bees. We know that's where they are. What we're doing now, we're going to try to look to see which direction the honeycomb is running um, so that we can plan our removal of these boards in a way that's going to be least invasive to the homeowner. Okay, we got we got the the hole cut. We suctioned up a few bees, but we're going to take a look under the floor here to see if we've got any activity. So here we go. Somewhere. I, I told John when we seen them outside, I said they were swinging so much that they're balled up. Yeah. That's exactly right. So they were protecting her. So she's probably right in the thick of this right here. Here's Kurt. We pulled one board up from the floor. So this appears to be a brand new hive that had just moved in here. They just swarmed in. You can see this comb is all brand new. It's really white, light colored, which tells us that they just made it. So. Thankfully, this is probably the only board we'll have to pull up from this floor. It looks like there's still some more bees underneath here. It's probably clustered under there a little bit. And as I'm looking this, this comb over, Greg, I see that we have nectar right here in the middle section. But over here, if you take a quick look, those cells do have eggs in them. So we have a queen who is happy to have a new house. She started laying. We'll take a peek underneath here in a second, see what else is underneath. All right, we're gonna take a peek underneath the floor here again, see what else is underneath there. All right, we're gonna pull up another board here, see what we got. Well, we have bees. Another nice cluster. Greg Decker, Rooftop Apiaries, at your service. So this is probably 10 or 15,000 bees it looks like. This is about what we get in the three pound package when we order them from a company in the spring. So we're gonna go through here systematically, suck them up just a few at a time and try to locate the queen. Well, you do have a lot of bees under there, you know it? I mean, that's the third one we've pulled out that looks just like that, so. We haven't found the queen yet. We're gonna keep looking. Hopefully she's in here. There's still a bunch of bees down in there. Yeah. Well, we'll work till we're done, right, Greg? Oh, yeah. Tell me when. All right, guys, we got some great news, man. If you take a look right there on top, you see the queen walking. So once we get the queen, I got my queen catcher right here. We're going to keep her in the cage, put her in with the rest of the bees, and they're going to have a nice new home at the rooftop apiary. Here we go.
just like that, we got a queen. So we pulled four boards up out of the floor here. There was just a little bit of comb. We got a good 30,000 bees probably. We're gonna take one like last peek underneath the floor here, see if anybody else is hanging out. All right, so this is this is all that's left. We just have a little bit of really old comb. They said they had a colony of bees in here 30 years ago, and we, we think that's what's left over. But um, as you can see, another job well done. We started out with probably 30, 40, maybe 50,000 bees in here. The homeowner called early, so we were able to intervene before they built in a lot of comb. Another job well done by Greg Decker from the Rooftop Apiary. Phone number 859-940-4474. And Kurt White from the Bluegrass Apiary. That's B L E W E Grass Apiary. And you can reach you can reach us at 606-481-0049. Take care and have a great day. So we're on the roof at the rooftop apiary. This is the hive we just cut out of the floor of that house. This is the bee vacuum. We got all the loose bees in here. We got our queen in the queen cage, which we managed to find. We got her strapped in a frame. We're gonna put that frame in the bottom body of this hive. So I'm gonna set her down in here. And we left some frames out of this top hive body, leave a little gap, and we're gonna pour all those bees in the bee vac right in this hive body into this new hive. You going? Yep. Yeah. Greg's dumping all the bees in there, and you see we, we still have a lot of bees flying. Their tendency may be to, to kind of swarm, but since we put that queen in the box, we're hoping that they're going to find that scent and they'll go right back in there. So we'll check back in a few minutes and see how that goes. All right, so we have a nearly empty box. There's still a couple straggler bees that are hanging out here. We're going to just let, let them fly out at their own convenience here. But we've been watching the bees, and there's still a lot that are, that are flying around. But if you see, they, they're all fanning, so they're trying to get that smell, that pheromone out. So they can tell all these bees that are in the air that, hey, this is our new house, come here, this is where the queen is. So um, it, I, I think in time they're all going to settle down, and I think this is going to be a nice home for them. Greg's got a great place here, the rooftop apiary in Lexington, Kentucky. Um, he, he's managed to keep a lot of different hives here. And again, Greg is excellent at bee removal. I've seen him do a lot of jobs. If you guys have any bees anywhere, you know, in trees, in your house, swarms, give Greg or myself a call and we'd be happy to come take care of the bees the right way. The way that they can continue to survive in a healthy environment, pollinate flowers, and uh, help to make the world a better place. All right, this is Kurt from Bluegrass Apiary. That's B-L-E-W-E -E, Grass Apiary. And Greg Decker from the Rooftop Apiary. You can find us on Facebook. Uh, please give us your service whenever, whenever you need us. All right.